Cold start though, right? Nice Mark? spring evening. Yeah, a lot of us uh, were right around freezing plus or minus a few degrees. But notice, Pete, you don't see many 20s there. Yeah. You got one in battleground. I had a 28 at my house, 29 in Damascus. Uh, a lot of 30 degree temps. So a light frost. That doesn't kill much. You know, this time of the year, nobody, well, you shouldn't be putting out anything like tomatoes or warm weather veggies. In fact, yeah, I don't think you can get them yet at the, uh, the, um, uh, garden centers, but the point is three weeks from now, yeah, different story. So we're not going to see frost tonight. Nope, 55 degrees out at our Discover Newport cam looks pretty out there. And then farther up the coastline, boy, that's a lot of people because a lot of folks from Washington have come down into Oregon to enjoy their spring break on the beaches. 62 degrees, shallow and seaside cam, and a breezy northeast wind. It'll be warmer along the beaches. Beaches look fantastic tomorrow. And then Friday is going to be much different. So you notice typically the average high, whenever we say average, it's a 30 year average. Typically it is uh, 67. So we overachieved today. That was the warmest spot west of the Cascades. That typically happens when you get that warm east wind. Now when we get that east wind, which is cold in the winter, in, from April really through almost Halloween, that's a warm wind. And east of the Cascades, some 60s, a lot of you will be uh, well into the 70s tomorrow. So the big story is even warmer tomorrow, but I think you're going to notice 45 in the morning in the city, a little breeze keeping the temperatures out of the 30s. And then in the afternoon at 2 or 3 p.m., it's already up to 70 or so, and we're headed into the mid to upper 70s. Strong high pressures overhead, that's sinking air. Um, you notice we had some high clouds move through, but notice how all this cloud cover is heading to the north. There's a large area of high pressure here keeping that away for now. Now, that's a very warm air mass. Uh, record highs in the 90s down in California, not just in Southern California, but all the way up like Redding and Red Bluff. All right, so very warm air mass. We don't get that warm, of course, but we'll see warmer air tomorrow. And then here comes a cold front. It's not a strong cold front, but there's quite a contrast between the warm air that's over us now and the much cooler air coming in Friday and beyond. So that comes in Friday. So tomorrow, thin high clouds in the morning. They seem to thicken up a little bit, kind of the reverse of today, where it started sunny, higher clouds midday. Tomorrow, we'll see more high clouds in the evening. We get to Friday morning, and we've got a, a band of rain moving through right during the morning commute Friday. Behind that, the good news is it will not be a gloomy day Friday. Yes, it'll be much cooler, but look at all the sun breaks and scattered showers about. Could even get a hail shower, I suppose, on Friday. And then more cold showers come in as we get into Saturday. Notice the air is coming in like this, coming down from the north, and that's why we expect snow levels to fall over the weekend. Total rain, by the way, on Friday, yeah, not that much, a tenth of an inch probably here in the valleys. All right, so your Thursday forecast. We start warmer, already in the low 60s at noon. By 3 p.m., low 70s, I showed you that uh, bus stop forecast. And I think we're going to go for 78. Now, we have not been above 70 degrees so far this season. So clearly, even if we're too high on these temps, we're going to have our warmest days so far in the season. Uh, the east wind backs off in the afternoon. Friday, look at that drop, Pete, from 78 to 60 into the low 50s Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. These days, Sunday and Monday, it appears cold enough that if we were to get showers in the overnight hours, it could easily be mixed with snow on the hills. And if you live up mm, well, above 1,000 feet, you could have a skiff of snow if showers fall at the right time. Everything would have to be just right. But either way, cool showers, high temps only around 50 each day, and uh, maybe a little warmer showers middle of next week.